Hey guys, today we are painting with makeup brushes. As you have requested lately, let's do this. Before we get started, I just wanted to tell you that this video is sponsored by Art Amino. Art Amino is the best place to connect with other people who have interests just like yours. There's communities for pretty much every interest you can imagine. Music, video games, there's books. I'm exploring the Art Amino part. It's really cool because it shows you exactly how many people are online. Right now there's 897 people. My favorite part about this entire app is the featured feed. And it's so cool because Art Amino will feature people. It really gets you out there. It helps you connect with other artists. I've been featured a few times, but I've also found, wow, this is really cool, really amazing artists through this feed. Like, look how cute that is. So you can follow artists. I love all those shapes and everything, like combined with the realistic aspect of this piece. Their artwork is so phenomenal. You can also search stuff by interest. So I love plants and I love looking at other people's paintings of succulents, definitely. You can even put like gifs on here. This is so cute. I really love this app and it's kind of addicting because there's so much art constantly going up. There's so many people you can connect with. It offers like everything you could want in a community. So the chat rooms are really cool because you can connect with people even further who share your interests. It's neat because some people will do like art trades, certain fan art topics. There's so many things in here. I think the idea of art trades are like really cool. So you should totally get this app. There are different challenges that you can participate in on here. And one that's super cool that's happening right now is this endangered animal challenge where you can create a piece of artwork that kind of draws light to an endangered animal. So here's my feed and I would love it if you would come check out my artwork. Maybe comment and introduce yourself so I can follow you and find out your art. Also don't forget to check out this featured feed. It is really cool and I use this all the time to discover new artists. Let's hop right into this challenge now, shall we? All right, I already have my piece sketched out and now we're gonna paint it. And I'm going to tell you some advantages and disadvantages I discovered while using these puppies. One thing I noticed right from the get-go is the bristles are very short. And this was really great because I felt like I had a lot more control. Sometimes with longer brushes, they can be a little more difficult to use, you know? If you have a very long bristle on your brush, you better have a steady hand at times, and these little guys did not have long bristles, so that was great. I felt like I had a lot of control, but there's a downside with that because they can't hold as much water, and you constantly have to dip it in water. So that was, you know, you win some, you lose some. I decided to try to paint a person with more of a body incorporated into this. I know the proportions aren't the best. I know the neck is a little messed up, but that's okay. I'm not perfect. I'm just going to show you that I have imperfections. It's okay. I can take the criticism. It's all good. But as far as this challenge goes, these brushes were pretty much like any others, except I felt like... Makeup brushes are really underrated. We use them for our faces, yeah, to cover up blemishes or maybe highlight certain areas or put blush on. I don't know. Whatever people do with their makeup brushes. I'm not like a guru or anything. <laughs> but they are really good quality. And you can get them for dirt cheap. I'm saying dirt cheap because I paid $3 for this set. I got them from Wish which is an app. You can watch a video about me getting stuff from Wish if you want. I'll put the link in the description below. However, I didn't realize that makeup brushes were pretty much as good as paint brushes, if not better. I feel like we can spend so much money on paint brushes. You know, one little brush can cost anywhere from $3 to $25, if not more. I don't know about you, but I don't have the kind of money for that. 
I'm not going to be dumping that much money, you know. Four or five bucks on a paintbrush is steep for me, and that's at the cheap end. Makeup brushes, they don't shed their bristles. And if you buy a cheap paintbrush, they'll shed bristles. I mean, okay, you can get sets of paintbrushes for like three or four dollars too, but expect those brushes to shed very badly. <laughs> From experience, that's what I have dealt with. And these, I paid three dollars for them. Not a single bristle had fallen out. It was great. I think, I think makeup brushes and regular paint brushes are very much the same. Yeah, there's maybe different shapes. You might not get as precise of brushes from makeup brushes. You know, if you want to do more detail, that would be a disadvantage because makeup brushes are more, well, it's for your face. You don't need to be doing like line art on your face unless you're a special effects makeup artist, but they're made very well and I was so impressed. <laughs> So I'm very much sold. If I need bigger paintbrushes for blending larger areas, I will definitely go to the makeup aisle of like Target or Walgreens or wherever I am. I don't know. I think it was a great deal. I, I kind of feel scammed in the art world because if somebody out there is able to manufacture paintbrushes that are meant for your face and they don't fall apart very easily and they work really well, why can't we just apply that same manufacturing mechanism to the art world? I know there's some arguments to this because we have different types of paintbrushes meant for watercolor, acrylics, oils, whatever, and they're coated differently or they're made with different types of hairs, you know. But I don't know, man. I'm not too picky with paintbrushes. I know there's some people out there that might be like super picky about it, but... A paintbrush is a paintbrush to me, and I'm one of those people that I don't have a huge budget, so my paintbrushes, I will use them all for all different things. Like, for oil paintings, yeah, I will use my watercolor brushes, and I know some people in the comments are probably going to get sassy with me and say that's a crime. I don't care. <laughs> it works the same to me. I love what I'm doing, and it's fun. So, I'm really glad to have makeup brushes is what I'm saying. I like it. I'm glad I can use these for oil paints, acrylics, watercolor. I'm going to use them. I think I just expanded my paintbrush collection pretty significantly. <laughs> it's great. And I'm one of those people that sip my paintbrush in my water for longer than I should admit. And it ruins my paintbrush. That's my own problem. I shouldn't do that, but who honestly feels like cleaning up their paint mess right after they put a four-hour session into their painting and then realize they're only halfway done with just the face? Excuses, Miranda. Excuses. I hope you can relate. Who else leaves their brushes in the water, though? Comment that below. Let's talk about this piece now. We're going to shift from a, well, I felt like I was being slightly pessimistic at the beginning of this video. Let's be optimistic, happy people now. I chose happy colors, and I tried to keep my color palette fairly simple, and this helped me too since I was trying out new brushes. I think sometimes simplifying your color palette is nice when you try new things. I did go in with some colored pencil and just shade certain areas here and there. So you'll see me use that here and there. <laughs> I really liked using this set of makeup brushes for outlines. I discovered because it is such a short brush and you have more control. If you want to do more of an illustrative style, is illustrative a word? I don't know. Hey, maybe we can make it one. So if you want to do more of an illustration kind of style like I'm doing, you'll see that I'm adding outlines here and there. And it took so many layers, though. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was just taking my jolly old time. But these brushes were very wonderful for that because there's so much control there. As I said, shorter brush, more control. It worked out wonderfully. 
So if you want a really good paintbrush for doing outlines, I would suggest picking up a makeup brush at your store and trying it out. Local store? Your local store? I don't know. That sounded weird. Pick up brush at your store. I had fun though because as I have maybe said in some previous videos, I'm trying to push myself with anatomy as well. So not only was I challenging myself with new brushes, I was working on anatomy. I'm not too happy with the neck as I said, but I kind of learned to love the imperfections as I go, so it's okay, and I know what to work on next time. What are some things that are really hard for you to get down as far as anatomy goes? Let me know, and let me know if you've ever painted with makeup brushes before. I'm curious because I really don't hear much about this, especially within our art community here on YouTube. I... Don't really hear people using makeup brushes much. I don't know if I've actually ever heard of anybody using them. So I'm curious to know what you think. And if you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend this because paint brushes are very expensive. And as I said, I feel like we get scammed in the art world because if we buy low end stuff, they shed. And I don't think that's really cool because you can buy low-end makeup brushes and they don't shed, so what's up with that? Are we getting scammed, guys? I don't know. <laughs> this is really fun, though, and I really enjoyed creating her outfit as well. I think one thing I'm really taking an interest in lately, I've noticed this in the past year or so, is fashion. And I think it would be neat to try to incorporate that into my artwork, but I'm also not really sure because I like nature and I'm like, how do I balance this? Who knows? So do these brushes pass though? Yes, I pretty much only have good things to say about them. Aside from the fact that, you know, because it's a shorter brush, you have to dip it in your water more. But I mean, you can just spray your palette with a mist bottle if it bothers you. It didn't bother me too much. The handles are also very short, but let me be real with you, I like shorter paintbrush handles because for somebody who does YouTube videos, it's annoying having a paintbrush that feels like it's two feet long and you have to angle your camera in certain ways that it doesn't hit your camera when you lift your hand and all that stuff. And I also like to lean close to my artwork, so if that thing is popping up in my face, I don't like that. <laughs> Do you like long handles or short handles? Do you care? What's your preference? Let me know. I have so many questions for you. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna post this picture on Art Amino. I've been using this app a lot this winter and I've discovered so many amazing artists. So I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the art family, feel free to subscribe and join the art family. We are a happy, fun community here. I do videos two or three times a week, depending on how things are going. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.